Hello everyone. Today, um, I want to share a troubleshooting tip about removing circular reference. So there are times that when we work on spreadsheet, we come across with this warning message that um, Excel found a circular reference in your workbook. Uh, and I want to show you why um, this is coming up and how to fix it. So let's look at a simple um, analysis here. So for example, for an employee, we have a base salary amount, we have a bonus amount, and naturally we know what is the total cash by adding the two numbers together. But then um, there are times that if we, by mistake, refers to the own um, reference, uh, uh, refers to the own cell, um, that's when the circular reference will come up. So for example, in this case, if you look at my formula here, um, I am actually not only adding those two cells, but also the own cell, like the F9. And this is actually a circular cell. And um, this is when uh, Excel will come up with this message for you. Um, and the way that you can fix it is to go to formulas, and then go to this arrow checking message, uh, arrow checking uh, selection. Uh, go to the arrow um, down and then circular reference. And it's actually telling you uh, which cells are um, have the circular reference. So um, this is actually one. But then um, actually it should also show you this one and then when you Excel point to this one, you can check the formula and then remove the um, the wrong number and then so that it wouldn't show you. So that's one type of mistake. The other type of mistake is that um, you refer to a cell um, that's dependent on yourself. So what does it mean here? So this is the case. Um, so we have like um, base salary plus bonus equals your total cash. But then in my this case here, note that my bonus um, has a formula and the formula actually equals the total cash. Uh, times 20%, um, which means that you see my bonus amount is dependent on my total cash. And this becomes an issue when I say, okay, my total cash is still base salary plus bonus because um, my total cash is dependent on my bonus amount, but then my own bonus amount is also dependent on my total cash amount. And that's when you would see something like this. And you would also see the sign here and then uh, you can go to formula again, arrow checking, circular reference, and then you see Excel will point to the number um, to the cell where you have the circular reference. And this is something that you need to fix. So let's say we fix things here. My bonus uh, will be an independent number. Um, and after you make the change, this would not be a circular reference anymore. Um, and then now when you go to arrow checking, you see circular reference is cleared, uh, which means that um, the wrong circular reference is, is removed. It might look simple in this worksheet, but note that when you have extensive worksheet with thousands of formulas, um, know that you can have this, form, uh, this place to go to, to fix your circular references is very important and um, time saving. Okay, this is all I want to share today and I hope that you find it helpful.